So, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning us here? First of all, we should highlight the fact that Islam encourages love. Love is something that is very beautiful. Yet, love is not an empty word as it is now taken in the Western cultures. Love is not a word you exchange. Love as defined in Arabic dictionaries, the inclination of the heart towards what it naturally desires. The inclination of the heart towards what it naturally desires. That is a definition of love. So the word I love you, I love you is so cheap now in the Western world that people exchange on daily basis without realizing its meaning. Love in Islam is sublime. Love in Islam is something that is divine. It comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It comes from Allah to humanity because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses us with this love when he says yuhibbuhum describing the true servants of Allah yuhibbuhum he loves them wa yuhibbuna and they love him the same love of course with the difference of the meanings because the divine love is Rewards from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, mercy from Allah, care from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our love is inclination of the heart. Arabs celebrated love. Islam didn't come to abolish love. If you want to find out the best love stories, you should read Arabic literature. We have the stories of Majnoon Layla. The insane of Layla. We have the stories of Kusayyir Azza, Jamil Buthayna. Famous stories of pure love. Love that protected the chastity of both lovers to the extent that the insane, Al Majnoon, came across his beloved Layla once and he didn't recognize her. He did not recognize her because of his absorption in the love because of his almost absent mindness in the love for her so that he didn't recognize her at all love in islam is the shortest way to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if you want to reach allah there is no shorter way than love how come there is one catchphrase in the sufi path that the people of Allah and the ulama talk about. They say, Ahlu niyya saru wa ahlu al taru. People who rely on their intentions, they would walk. People who rely on their love, they would fly. You're walking towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reach the final success in the hereafter. What is the shortest way? There are many ways through which you can reach the final success in the hereafter. The shortest way is the way of love. So, loving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and loving the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam is above every love and should be above every love, yet it does not abolish any other love. The difference that Islam makes is the following. You love things for what they are, this is wrong. You love things because they are divine gifts, this is right. Here is the difference. You love things for what they are, it's wrong. Because you're stopping at one barrier. You're not going beyond this world. This world is a manifestation of the divine attributes. This world is a world of wonders. Each of them should lead us 
to one aspect of the greatness and glory of the creator and the originator of this world. On another level, this world is not the ultimate goal of the servants of God, is not the ultimate goal of human beings in general. This world is just a journey, a phase, a phase in our journey towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We stop for a while, we take a break, going through a very long highway, we take a break, Yet the break is so nice that we forget that we have a final end and we are journeying somewhere else beyond this place where we're having tea and coffee. It's not that we were intended. We were not intended to be in this place. We were intended to be in a different place. This world is not the final goal. It is just a stop on the way to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.